I am excited to share with you, all of you in the upcoming sessions, resources on HSIs and other minority serving institutions, MSIs, and how you can leverage the benefits of earning HSI status to further serve your students, faculty, and staff, and your community. I remember when we started talking about HSI, I attended uh, Dr. Gina Garcia's um, workshop. Before then, I really didn't understand the whole HSI thing. I had no idea what was going on. Uh, but after that workshop, I was like, yes, like, I'm, I'm going for this. this. This is like, this speaks of my people. This really talks even about myself, like my own experience as a college student. I was like, I'm leaving this room and I'm going to do something to really make a difference. And here I am. So it worked. So what I want you guys to do today is the same thing, to come here, learn, but also take that to the next level. Uh, today is a great opportunity for all of us to truly and authentically reflect about the way we want to move our Latino, Latinx student population forward at MATC and other institutions because we cannot continue to do what we've been doing before. Y el HSI es una designación que otorga el Departamento de Educación de los Estados Unidos y significa ser una institución que sirve a los hispanos. HSIs and other MSI programs, as I'm sure many of you are already familiar with, strengthen institutions that serve Hispanic, Black, Native American, Asian American, and other minority and low-income students. These programs provide financial assistance to help institutions solve problems, their ability to survive, to improve their management and fiscal operations, and to build endowments. Um, what are our future plans? We want to continue to collaborate with all our stakeholders, our partners, um, you know, our friends from Gateway. We can't do this alone. We need everyone. Uh, to support what we're doing. When we talk about HSI, it's not just about specific institutions, it's about a collective movement to get our Hispanic community forward, to move us forward as a community, mm -hmm. to move Hispanic student success forward as a collective in, in Milwaukee area, in Wisconsin, and within the nation. So the Hispanic Serving Institutions Division is part of the Office of Post-Secondary Education in the U.S. Department of Education, and we provide discretionary grant programs. According to the latest data from the 2020-2021 academic year, there are currently 559 HSIs across our great nation as well as 393 emerging HSIs, of which MATC is proudly one of them. Nosotros comenzamos en octubre del 2019, fue cuando se anunció MATC se va a postular para trabajar a, en pro de convertirse en una institución HSI. Y para eso hicimos un gran evento, invitamos a la comunidad, a, a todas las personas que están conectadas con MTC y fue algo que, que transformó a, a MTC internamente. Eh, se comenzaron a, a, a ofrecer más posiciones bilingües. There are some new bilingual programs uh, that are either in the works, almost wrapping up, um, and so in each pathway, we, uh, our focus really was to not just the courses, but also looking at programs. And how do you become designated as an HSI? It's a threefold process. The most important one is to have a 25% undergraduate full-time equivalent enrollment of Hispanic students. So that is the baseline. And we, ha we still have ways to go when it comes to justice, when it comes to equity, when it comes to diversity and inclusion for our Latinx community. The other two parts of that um, designation are having a high percentage of needy students and having low education general expenditures at the institutional level. MATC garantiza una educación económica para aquellos que quieren algo a, a, a corto plazo pero que hay tanta demanda laboral que a veces son más los trabajos que tienen nuestros estudiantes después de graduarse que el número de estudiantes en ese programa. Y, y MATC tiene 170 programas diferentes y la demanda laboral es increíble. Pero MATC también sirve como un puente entre la educación de dos años y la educación de cuatro años. 
MHC tiene actualmente acuerdos con más de 40 universidades de cuatro años que están esperando que los estudiantes de MHC se vayan con ellos para poder terminar lo que es el bachelor degree o el, o el, o el diploma de cuatro años. We want to shift our focus to the Latino culture. Um, because I, I know that I've talked about our bilingual programs, our Spanish, English. Not all of our students are bilingual who are Hispanic, right? Um, however, the demographic component of the eligibility designation, which is 25% undergraduate Hispanic student enrollment, that is never waived. So that's something that is, is non-negotiable, but you can request a waiver for the low educational expenditures or for the high percentage of needy students, especially if you're near the cutoff. When we think about the retention rates and the enrollment rates of Hispanic students, it's not just about, again, the number. It's about the whole person that comes to our institution. It's about who they are, their identity. It's about their language. And one of the things that we found is that we needed to create a peer support system. Necesitamos mucho entrenamiento. Entrenarnos para que podamos realmente entender el por qué Queremos ser HSI, ¿por qué no son nuestros estudiantes necesitan que nosotros trabajemos más para ellos? I think together we are going to continue to move the needle, but again, it's not in a silo. We have to do it collectively in the state of Wisconsin. And if we can recruit and retain our Hispanic student population, we're winning. Entonces la educación va a jugar un papel muy importante en que nosotros nos convirtamos en esa minoría que es educada en esa minoría que va a estar en puestos políticos y en esa minoría que va a ser los, los líderes de las grandes corporaciones. These grants are transformation to bring about system-wide change at schools as they serve students, their families, and their communities. Mm -hmm.